Hi everybody! I thought I'd pop on and do a video about something new that we've got on our wall here. It's a snow day, our forest school has been cancelled, we've just done Shakespeare Club, we've got a stew going in the oven and the kids are just having a break. Little Wolfie, she's helped me cook with baked cakes. Um, Spudsy is has lost a tooth so she's feeling a bit sore on the old um, mouth of Rooney so yeah we're in between dinner just on Shakespeare Club and dinner so yeah I thought I would talk a bit about this so this was previously on the wall um, and I did do a video about it and this is our home ed plan and it was just basically um, a list of like our ongoing things and then I kind of like divided it up um, monthly to, into topics and that was based on like trips we were going to so like in February we went to um, Bird Observatory um, in March like we were going to be doing Romans because we were going on a London trip but that got cancelled and um, this month we're going to um, Bletchley Park so we've been learning about Bletchley Park and Alan Turing code breaking etc so that was kind of how um, I originally sorted out our um, plan and I do say plan because it's uh, loosely and this is why it has changed to this firstly I do very much enjoy planning um, I we are very child led in terms of our subjects and the things that we learn about but we're sort of adult led in terms of like um day-to-day -day stuff or you know it's, it's, it kind of works in a mixture of both because sometimes I need to say I need to jump in and be like we're going to do this today other times you know like someone will, one of them will say can we do this and you know so it's a bit it kind of works in a bit of a mixture anyway this has kind of become a little bit out of date because um we were going to in February going to do the BFG read the BFG and learn about ancient Sumer and then my daughter watched a documentary on ancient Egypt and so we started learning about ancient Egypt so we've parked ancient Sumer and as I said a couple of trips have been cancelled so and we would based our learning um our learning was sort of loosely based on those trips so obsolete and no longer working for us so I made this and I think that is a beauty I love having a plan because it's really useful to have stuff like in stock or things ready to go when you need them but equally things happen and so it's nice to have a plan that is loose so that you can um, change things around to suit what's going on so this is how this came about so it's less of a month by month plan and it's more of a like um, a library or like a list of topics that we could choose. So I've, I've, I've titled it Home Ed Topics. And as it says, these are all, all of these um, subjects, all these topics are already downloaded and ready to go, whether that's from Twinkle or Chatty Zebra or any other um, place that we get our curriculums from. So when we come to the end of like a project, then we can come over here and go, right, okay, what have we got that we could like pick or choose from and this is a mixture of things that I've kind of found or sourced thinking that um, my daughters would enjoy these or it's things that like um, for example Amelia Earhart my eldest daughter said she'd like to learn about Amelia Earhart so yeah it's a kind of like a combination really of things I've chosen and things they've chosen we're still going to be doing like ongoing um, I've signed us up for an online Italian class but that hasn't um, started yet so we'll still do like general maths and that will be by like the workbooks I've showed you before um, let me see if I can grab one um, so like I buy these things from the works because they're a bit cheaper um, that's three pounds uh, my daughter loves a workbook um, so yeah I buy those from like the works because they're a bit cheaper um, they're for her age um, or like ability and then they just work out just that little bit cheaper than printing stuff out to have it already in a book so that was three quid um, so yeah and then like general English we've got that that um, Shakespeare Club we've got um, we do that once a week online um, keyboard she does that ad hoc art and craft mostly ad hoc we do do a lot of art and craft in this house because as you know I'm an artist <laughs> Um, well you might not know if you don't know I am an artist and I do actually run online art classes via patreon so I'll pop that link below for children and for adults um, so yeah we do do a lot of art and craft stuff 
and I test what we do out on my kids first. And then like general science or general like engineering, and that tends to be done. Um, husband um, has the girls on a Friday while I, while I work, and so he tends to do a lot of the maths, a lot of the engineering, some science, we both cover science, me and him, depending on what it is. We have, you know, different, different interests, different specialisms that, um, that kind of thing or like a discussion on something might spark an interest or um what have you so yeah those are like going to be like our always ongoing things and then these are our like projects so i'll run you through them so i try to split it down into like um subject which is actually quite hard because obviously geology um, i've got geology there but i've also got science down here and geology is also a science i know um so it is actually quite hard to kind of um we want to make sure that we are doing a mix of so we're always going to do english well english comes under a lot of project stuff anyway um but we you know so make sure we're doing maths and some science um and other stuff so yeah like english things will often fall under it all anyway if you're reading and writing so yeah but yeah it's quite hard it was quite hard to kind of like split it down but you know i sort of tried a bit <laughs> i think i may have got one in the wrong in one in the wrong subject completely actually just looking at it anyway so geology um my daughter absolutely loves um and as i said like some of the some of the things that overlap and you'll see that in a minute um, so my daughter loves things about like rocks, crystals, things like that. So I thought we could look at geology and rocks, volcanoes, earth treasures. We have got the, um, what's it called? Wonders of the Earth one by Blossom and Root. Um, Wonders of the Earth and Sky. Really, really good curriculum. We've dipped in and out of that a few times now. It's a really good curriculum. Um, I do, um, do recommend it. Um, I had it bound um but i'm just looking these have these have been put in there i didn't realize they'd been um put in there <laughs> they were supposed to be left out for they were what i downloaded from twinkle and i think i've just been shoved in um and then it ended up getting bound anywho um so yeah this has got like some really good stuff in here and like layers of the earth it's really good because you've got um You've got like, um, how do I say it? So you've got, oh, here we go. The messy, muddy, <laughs> you've got the outdoor learners, so you can do it with mud, the tabletop crew, um, so the laptop crew, so this is like doing the layers of the earth with an egg. And then I think we did the craft one. Um, yeah, the crafts and projects families. We did the Play-Doh one, so you make a model of the earth out of Play-Doh, different colour Play-Doh, and then cut it in half. Um, so yeah, we've got this curriculum. So we might use that, some more of that. Um, I've got some stuff down in from Twinkle, but also we have these two books, which I we have had for ages, and they are really, really good. Geology Lab for Kids. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, there's loads of different things in here, and like, um, like the science behind it, like experiments, and then like the science behind it. So that's the probably going to be like a really um, practical thing for us. Um, to do we um i'm not going to do like the geodes because <laughs> we've had so many different um geodes before kits and they never work so this one my daughter is gonna love a cocoa crust she will love that one <laughs> and then the rock and fossil hunter um is another really good book so this again it's got things to do look in there so yeah, really good one. So, yeah, I'm going to use a mix of these two books, this curriculum and some Twinkle worksheets. Um, so I've got rainforests on under geology. That probably should be under geography. <laughs> um, so rainforests, we've got one of the Twinkle chapter books about rainforests. Um, so, yeah, that's going to lead that one. It's this book. We did have the um, book subscription um with our twinkle and we did have the chapter books for a while but then my daughter said she wanted to go back to the picture books um so i haven't got all of the chapter books but i have downloaded the the chapter books as pdfs as well so that we can read them on the go and like kindle um but my, my kids still don't really understand ebooks <laughs> when i read her off my kindle they're like is this still the book <laughs> um so yeah <clears throat> so this is going to form like the basis of our rainforest topic we've we've have 
done Rainforest before, um, but we hadn't read this book. So we're gonna read this book and perhaps do some of the work stuff that goes with it from Twinkle, which I've already downloaded. As I said, this is already downloaded and ready to go stuff. So then in geography, we're gonna look at perhaps UK national parks and tourism. Um, probably gonna base this around, this will, this will probably be like a massive, massive ongoing project, not, perhaps not just this year, but um, like, other years too because it would be really cool to say like we we were planning a trip to wales this year I'm not still, sure if that's still going to go ahead but that'd be really cool to like learn about wales <laughs> um like national park of wales and then perhaps when we go to scotland do scotland etc and a bit on tourism like the effects on tourism and all that kind of stuff maybe some um u.s national parks because we often watch youtube videos of um like van life people and they tour around some of these so that might be quite cool but look at some um uh, is the Yeti real? Um, I've downloaded some stuff from Twinkle on is the about um, Yeti, and so there's we've got a few um, downloaded a few things about is the Yeti real. And I thought we could find some other stuff about that, looking at um, you know doing research and to think whether things things are real or not. But also we could look at sort of mountains and various mountain ranges like Himalayas, Everest, Nepal. Um, so Nepal and oh the other ones lost uh, Tibet, Tibet. <laughs> Oh, it kind of um, lost me there. Um, so, um, daughter sort of expressed an interest in sort of like explorers in the Antarctic. So I thought we could sort of like, I've lumped these together just to make them a bit more of a project. So Ernest Shackleton, um, learn more about the Antarctic and about explorers in general. Um, theme parks and play park design. We did ages ago, had a really, really good book out the library. Um, and I'll see if I can link it for you on um, roller coaster design and we had a really good time designing um, roller coasters this book was amazing each page went through like you know you've got to design a theme you've got to de decide whether you want it made out of wood or steel etc really good so we thought we'd expand that some more um, and then design an entire theme park and then perhaps design some play parks and um, so we're going to go back to those books but also down I did some stuff off of Twinkle we're actually going to be having a little bit of a Twinkle break um, just because there's lots of other things that, um, you know, that we need to pay for, like trips out and online classes and things. Um, so yeah, these things I've already got, um, downloaded, as I said, we might go back to Twink, well, like, you know, who knows? <laughs> so my Twinkle membership runs out at some point this month. Um, so we might go back to it again, or, you know, we're just going to see what, see where the wind takes us. But yeah, we're going to have a couple of months off who knows how long we'll have off because we might miss it um sometimes my daughters play the games like sometimes they play like the and we had the um ultimate subscription and so they enjoyed playing like the twinkle go games and we obviously had the books um and stuff like that so yeah we'll see um we just wanted to like have um just a little bit of a a break because as i said we've got a few trips and things coming up that we want to pay for and um, you know what it's like when you're a home editor and, you know, you're not working full time and things and there's always things you want to do. You have to kind of juggle and prioritise. So, yeah, we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see how it goes. We've got quite a few things to keep us going. That's for sure. <clears throat> um, you know, things I've purchased and, as I said, books and things. So, yeah, we're going to see see how it goes. May go back to Twinkle, may not. Might go back in a month, might go back in six months, a year. We'll see. We're going to see how it goes. Most likely, as soon as I don't have Twinkle, my daughters will probably be like, I don't want to learn about any of these things now. <laughs> I want to learn about whatever. So I'll have to go off and find stuff. But yeah, we'll see. Um, so then for history, um, we've, we've done a bit of ancient Greece before. Um, I think it's good to kind of keep going over things because it sort of cements the knowledge. But also as they get older, you can go deeper, you know, more in depth and learn about different things. I thought it might be fun to look at Greek mythology because um, when we were learning about, um, when we did our Narnia, our Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, um, she really enjoyed learning about centaurs and things like that. So um, <clears throat> and we touched a bit on Greek mythology, so it might be nice to do that. We've already got the ancient Sumer printed out because we were going to do that. The ancient Mayans, um, ancient Maya, uh, we have done ancient Maya before. Um, and I will also say, this is a bit of an advert, a bit of a plug, um, that I do have also have an Etsy shop where I have unit studies um, for sale. They're super cheap because, you know, I wanted to make them like cheap and accessible for everybody. Um, and, you know, it just kind of, I made them for our family. And so any, 
any few pennies I make from it just kind of like goes back into the homemade kitty. But we do have an ancient Maya unit study up for sale um, if anyone's interested. Um, and that's very practical. It's all like um, all like links to YouTube videos and um, practical things that you can make and do and all that kind of stuff. So the link will be in the description of the video below to check out my Etsy shop. So we've got um, even more on the ancient Maya. Uh, we've done Vikings before, but then I also saw um, uh, Norse mythology. Twinkle had produced a um, lap book on Norse mythology. And I thought it might be quite cool to go back over the Vikings because if we're going to do Greek mythology, it might be nice to, to touch on some like Norse mythology and maybe some like ancient Rome mythology as well. Mary Anning and fossils that could also as you can see we've got it in the history that could also go under geology it could also go under science um, we went to see Mary Anning's ichthyosaur um, at the Oxford um, Museum of Natural History <laughs> when mine went black then but yeah she wants to learn more about Mary Anning and more about fossils um, <clears throat> so we've got that we've got that on the list to do um, Stone Age we are going to the Butster ancient farm um on a homemade workshop trip thingy but i'm very interested in the stone age so i'd like to do that again i won't be upset if she doesn't want to do it though but i've put it on there because i've got like tons of stuff because me personally i'm doing my own personal learning on, <laughs> and i've been learning more about the stone age and human um evolution um amelia Earhart, as i said just general archaeology my daughter loves anything about archaeology and um i thought it would be quite good to look at, and um, this is another one from Twinkle, um, finding somewhere to settle. So looking at um, like migration and where like our ancient ancestors, where they decided to settle and why. That might be quite cool. Um, so sort of standalone literature book studies. We've got some folk tales that might be quite interesting to look at. Um, still got that BFG that I talked about. Um, Percy Pole's Peculiar Plants. Now that is this... Um, this twinkle book i think that looks quite cool um so yeah i've downloaded all of the stuff that goes with it i i down you know i didn't just go on like a i, I mean i did download a few things ready for our break but i'd already got these things downloaded <laughs> like when the book came in i downloaded the stuff to go with it and then we never got around to doing it the trouble is there's just so so many things you want to do in so little time isn't there sometimes but yeah so we've got this book um got this book and i've already got the downloads ready to go with that um and and then we could look at more um more sort of myths and myths and legends in literature that would be quite cool so seasonal um these things these things are of, of um i either purchased from chatty zebra or they were free i can't remember which now there's a bit of both i think so i thought in like autumn October we could look at um we we've got the um chatty zebra we've got the hocus pocus and salem witch trials curriculum we've also got the guy fawkes curriculum from chatty zebra and then for christmas we've got the nordic christmas from chatty zebra science um we've still got the space stuff that i printed off when we were going to be going doing more space but we kind of ditched that i've got the human body curriculum from chatty zebra let me show you that it is up here it is a whopper it is massive so we very uh, slowly <laughs> been um chipping away at that so yeah let's look at that the human human biology from chatty zebra look how big that curriculum is it is awesome i do very recommend chatty zebra they are really really good they've you know it's sort of like a self-led it's like prompts and things and then you go away go <coughs> excuse me go away and research so as you can see we have done some bits um we don't work in order my daughter does not like to work in chronological order she likes to jump around jump around as um she chooses so we've got that um then um so let's go oh let's look at this while we've got this out so this is from chatty zebra as well the encanto um curriculum so it covers like colombia and spanish as well um and then i just sort of printed out some coloring sheets to go on the because the cover and that's under our projects and special interests. Um, chocolate, want to look at chocolate again. Um, again, we, I have a unit study on chocolate, but that is like a firm favourite. Uh, budgeting and finances, um, Santander, they um, collaborated with Twinkle to do some stuff, so that's on the list. Um, Pokemon, my daughter sort of got an interest in Pokemon, but um, Chatty Zebra did a free curriculum, so I downloaded that. 
Um, so we've got Encanto on there and Mysteries and Detectives. We're can't, currently on that at the moment because we are looking at um, Bletchley Park and code breaking and things. Um, and then some art and design. I'm going to design um, my daughter because I, I do a lot of computer art. Put, put it down as computer art because um, a lot of my art my, as an illustrator, I... Um, use the computer photoshop to color in and manipulate and things like that and my daughter often watches me do that and um she often wants to do stuff so i said that you know i would um kind of come up with something so i'm going to design something for that myself and also graffiti art i'm going to design a curriculum which i'll probably i'll design a curriculum for that and i'll probably put that up for like my patreons um as well um so yeah that is our plan <laughs> it's a loose plan um so yeah we're just gonna pick and choose so it's ready to go i just need to print well some things are printed as as you saw some things are from like books or whatever's so are more practical um so yeah when we finish something when we finish the project we can just come to here look at our t our list choose something and do it so i hope you enjoyed having a little look my beepers are all going dinner is ready so i hope you enjoyed having a look at our plan and the things that hopefully we're going to be doing in our home ed.